right let's move on to the third problem now see this problem this is also one of the very very important problems for you uh, uh this chapter like uh, this is also taken from one of the very recently conducted competitive exam the question is two persons x and y walk from a to b a distance of 44 kilometers uh, at 5 and 6 kilometers per hour respectively and uh, when the speed of y is more than that of x slightly more than that of x obviously y reaches b and returns immediately and meets x at point z find the distance between a and z is the question all right to understand this question actually uh, this type of questions can be done very very easily if you know the relationship among speed time and distance in a proper manner all right now you see Uh, let us understand this question with the small diagram here now let us take a uh, place a and b now i'm taking these two places in this way all right so this is place a and place b they have given the distance as 44 kilometers there all right now person x and y started there right they started walking from a to b the distance of course 44 x is going at the speed of 5 kilometers per hour y is at the 6 kilometers per hour and both started at the same time actually they should have given in the question anyway both started at the same time now since his speed is more this y speed is more they have described in the question that uh, y reached b first all right and returned immediately and met uh, a somewhere here that point they are give they have given as z now the distance is what is the now the question is what is the distance between a and z is the question we can very simply solve the question if you know the relationship between time speed of course uh, here uh, speed and distance in a proper way all right now but uh, before solving the question with that shortcut uh, we should understand the logic here the logic here is that both the cases observe carefully in both the cases uh, time is same time is uh, same both have traveled for the same time when both have traveled for the same time if we want to do the question mathematically using pure maths now we can solve the question in this way take the distance from a to z as a x i am discussing the mathematical way after that i'll give you a fantastic shortcut with the help of which uh, within like less than 1 minute you can solve the question now i am taking this one as x the distance between a to z is x obviously between z and b that should be 44 minus x now clearly time is same for both of them i am going to equalize the time the time taken by x is a distance traveled by x that is x by speed of x is 5 km per hour this is time taken by x right that should be is equal to time taken by y time taken by y should be taken as distance traveled by y divided by speed of y distance traveled by y don't get confused here distance traveled by y is a a to z he traveled of course z to b again from b to z because he met a in return there for that reason that should be a to z is x anyway he traveled plus this distance 44 minus x he traveled right plus another 44 minus x observe this one all right then divided by divided by his speed is 6 all right now simplify this one simplify this you will get x is equal to 40 all right x is equal to 40 means the distance like traveled by x means from a to z distance traveled by x that should be equal to 40 km there all right now how to solve the question with a simple shortcut shortcut rather than shortcut i say this one as understanding the concept in a proper way how to go for this now observe here the time is same time is same time is constant when time is constant i have discussed in the previous video right the distance between speed and time is always inversely proportional to each other right but the relation between distance and speed is a distance can be directly proportional to speed when time is a constant we have discussed this one in the previous video also now in this case also time is same constant for both of them for that reason 
the speed ratio of x and y is 5 is to 6. And obviously, since time is same, the distance ratio would also become 5 is to 6. What do you mean by 5 is to 6? If they together travel for 11 kilometers, if it is distance, right, in terms of kilometers, then uh, x should travel 5 kilometers and uh, y should travel 6 kilometers. Now, very clearly, I should uh, crank the question in this way. First, you find out uh, total distance traveled by x and y in this transaction. Now, observe carefully, x and y both traveled 44 kilometers two times, two times. Why is it two times? Both traveled from A to Z, A to Z, X traveled as well as Y also traveled. This distance has been covered for two times, right? After that, here, Z, this one Y traveled from here to here and he returned from here to here, right? Means what does it mean? This, ten, this distance traveled by X and Y together, one time X. Of course, Y, this distance traveled for two times and even this also, Y traveled it for two times means overall total distance traveled by X and Y is equal to 44 into two times they have traveled this one that is 88. Now very simply you can say total 88 kilometers they have traveled in the ratio of 5 is to 6 kilometers that because speed ratio is equal to distance ratio when time is constant. Now my question is what is the distance between A and Z? I can take uh, this one X into consideration. X traveled 5 parts and he traveled 6 parts. Now very clearly I can say this I am writing here. This 88 should be distributed for this person. 88 into 5 by it should be of course 5 plus 6 that is 11. Now you will get 40 kilometers is the right answer. Got the clarity? Right. So, if you use the shortcuts, very simply you can solve the questions in this manner. All right. So, now this question, you try to find out this one with the mathematical way using pure maths. Then after that, simple logical way by using the relationship between speed and distance when time is constant, easily you can solve the question. All right. Now, let's move on to the next problem here. Yet, let's go for the other problem. One second. 